not a reading speech. This is not a persuasive, demonstrative, informative, special occasion, or impromptu speech. This is something of its own. We've all been in this class for either the whole year or half. Well, the majority of us have been, at least. We've done a number of speeches, done countless impromptus, and performed many awkward and comedic skits. We hail from a variety of cliques, classes, ages, races, states, and even countries. Yet, despite our differences, we are all able to cooperate and laugh together. We've made an endless amount of memories, and have all grown so much this year. Many people, including myself, say that I have a bad memory. In truth, I do, often, but not from experiences. For instance, I remember the first few days of this class quite well, during our first rotational interviews. Yes, those things where half of us gets lost during rotation, and all of us get cut off halfway through our talking. I remember the third person I rotated to was no one other than that. <laughs> I thought to myself a week later, I will never remember this guy's name. Oh my gosh, was I so wrong. I was wrong about never being able, thinking that I was never being able to remember anyone's name. In these interviews, the majority of us said that they were, including myself, thrown into this class because they had no other choice. Look at us now. I bet if most of you have changed your mind about that. Not to forget, and also in the beginning, the amount of games we played really surprised me. I didn't quite see the point. I'm not sure many of us did. <laughs> that is, we didn't realize until we went up to speak, and then we realized we were not speaking to strangers, we were speaking to friends. Speaking of the first speeches, I remember I could hardly read online. Um, well, I'm not sure if that's changed much. <laughs> Speaking of my first speech, remember that. My first yes! this is an informative speech on tea. I thought it made that in the middle of class. I know that you guys, at least, have improved and are much more wonderful speakers now. Oh, there are so many memories to talk about. Where can I possibly begin? Perhaps the beginning. For those of you who are here first semester, who remembers the squish balls? <gasps> I broke one. You know oh. what I'm talking about, the ones we love to death. We must have broke one or two a day. <laughs> um, and we made a mess and we tried to fix it with tape and it was useless. That was a mess. There's also Nick's speeches. No one was really surprised when his first speech was on running. Or his next few. No one was really mad either. Kat's first couple of speeches were on trees with perhaps some of the most emotional speeches we had heard at the time. And we loved her speeches for it. I say at the time because she has knocked it out of the park since then. And I'm sure we can agree on that. <laughs> Speaking of well speeches, the aftermath is always the same. That is, you all know how hardly anyone remembers to stay at the podium and still tells us to go back up. <laughs> what we forget too. Oh, but the memories don't end there, as you all know full well. There was the first fire alarm in this class, where we held hands out to the parking lot as told to do. <laughs> the silliness of it, all, of it all made people stare at us and wonder what we were doing, but we ignored it. Although, come second semester, those who have been the, here the whole year surely remember the somewhat awkward tone that spread over the classroom as the new kids joined. I figured it was because they hadn't been through all the sort of bonding games that we had. Nonetheless, they mes meshed in eventually, and the awkwardness was slowed off. There was also the seating charts. Remember when we uh, all thought we still had them, and we wondered why that one table had yoga balls? <laughs> uh, um, or how whenever the tables were rearranged, the seating chart was basically forgotten for the next month or so? <laughs> uh, as for other memories, there are too many to name, but they're all great in their own way. From Giselle's adoration of Justin Bieber, to the first time Pedro fell off the yoga ball, which we all <laughs> knew would happen, <laughs> to Kat's in-class Christmas present, to myself picking my own card in our game of Jeopardy, to Andrew's sudden realization that he forgot his lid and how he saved it, <laughs> to when Melissa brought her bunny, and to, when all, and to all the winging it we had. I'm looking at you, Melvin. <laughs> this speech, like all things, must come to an end. 
I leave you all with words that I hope you will carry forward. Teachers and students, please come to your hands. This time, the locker in the 500 wing. Please report to the 500 wing. No, you're all out the your same. locker. Students, you do need to report back to your class as soon as you are finished. Please leave your locker doors open when you have finished cleaning them out. Thank you. I leave you all with words that I hope you will carry forth into your future, wherever that may be. To the freshmen, I say, don't be afraid, try it. Whatever makes you afraid, merely because you fear failure and embarrassment, muster up your courage and try it. You've been brave in this class, and you can do it again. And to the sophomores, your junior year has the potential to be as great or greater than your sophomore year now. Just don't procrastinate, don't do anything stupid, and remember what you've learned from the people you've met in this class, and the people you've met in this class. To the juniors, let us march headstrong into our senior year. We can face the brunt of work and responsibility and change that awaits us, and we will make it. Amen. To the seniors, for you, this is your last speech of your last class, your last day, your last year. I know that last can be scary and important, so I hope I've made yours worthwhile. This class and all it holds is coming to a close. Next year, the bulk of us will be separated, no longer to speak or see one another because of differences in cliques or classes. But that doesn't make this year any less special. Even if a name or a face is forgotten, memories in this, made in this class will hold longer. I know I'll miss this class, and all of us together. We are many things, people, students, teenagers, friends, Minutemen, but perhaps the most important one has been being Miss Dell six period public speaking class. Actually, come to think of it, I guess this is a speech, a farewell speech. So, farewell, and have a good day.